Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. You guys, welcome to one of my speed builds. <laughs> there has been a lot, <laughs> a lot of change. Um, and there's been a lot happening on the channel. If you guys have been here from like when I started uh, doing videos, I was mostly doing just like a lot of speed builds. And I did mention to you guys that I wanted to start kind of moving towards more uh, challenges, a lot more different things, maybe do a less Let's play more build challenges, more cast stuff. Um, and a lot of you guys are new here. So hi, how are ya, you guys? Um, my name is Jamie. I'm also known as Simspiration here on YouTube. You guys might know me a lot from my speed builds, or you guys might just know me from my recreate series, and you haven't been here a long time. So um, I do want to let you guys know that I do uh, speed builds like this, but I don't typically like talk about the build. I have a really hard time doing that. I <laughs> I mostly sit and ramble and we can kind of just sit and chat. Like if you got something to do, girl, like go make that food, go go do your laundry, do homework, like something we can just kind of chill out. Or even if you want to just sit and relax, um, this is a great time for us to just kind of like chill and talk. I usually... I typically use this as like a podcast and <laughs> actually a lot of people have been like, girl, you should start a podcast. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of fun though. Would you guys want to see that? I don't know. Why am I asking that? I don't think people would want to see that. I could do that like with um, a bunch of uh, different simmers or something. You know what? We could probably maybe do that on the side for fun. Like maybe when we get a little bit bigger, you know? <laughs> I always say that too. I'm always like, you know what? When I get a little bit bigger, I'm gonna do this. And then I get a little bit bigger and then I'm like, but I'll just wait till I get a little bit bigger. Okay, that's fine. We're having a lot of fun though. I'm really enjoying the new changes that has been happening uh, on in this channel. I know a lot of you have really liked the Recreate series. I also wanna go live a lot more. I'm sorry if I'm talking a little strange. I don't know if I can tell if I'm doing it or not. My <laughs> cheek, I have never, sorry, I need to rant for a second. I never get like sores in my mouth and Alex has been getting them like a lot because he like chews his like cheek and then it gets sore. I never used to do that. Now I have one on my left side and it hurts so much and I sleep in a weird spot where like my cheek is kind of like it's morphed around my teeth so when my teeth like when I open it I can feel my cheek like rub against my teeth. It's really weird. It's really strange. I'm sorry for sharing that with you that you could have probably gone a really good day without hearing that and I apologize um but you know what girl we're gonna talk about our day how's your day been <laughs> how's your week how's your month how's your year been how's 2024 been been treating you I have just been go 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 you guys this has been a long long like couple of months there's been so many changes happening <laughs> I moved uh I was originally so a lot of you guys unless you guys haven't watched my old uh, CB builds. I basically just tell you guys about my life. Um, and I'll give you guys a, a quick rundown basically because this, this has been hectic. Um, but I lived with my dad uh, and then he sold uh, his house and then we moved to this new place, right? We think like this gonna be like their forever home afterwards. Uh, flies everywhere. The house wasn't like tender love and care. There, there had to be a lot of uh, love to, to give in that home. My dad didn't, he's a handyman. So like he doesn't mind working on things, but he just like hated it there. Then there were guys that were, we, we live by like truckers and they keep coming down my house, uh, down at my dad's and they are so loud and my dad gets so mad. Uh, and he's been like helping the police try and catch these guys. Yeah, I know. It's it's a lot. It, they're literally out in the middle of nowhere. But I don't think he realized that when you're out in the middle of nowhere with a long road, people are going to drive like idiots. And people do like donuts in the street. And actually, I think a week ago, the guys, um, my dad talked with them, but there was this new guy, right, you guys? And he like came by, I guess, the other night at like 2 a.m., right? And he did donuts in the, uh, in like a four-way stop where there's no lights or anything like that. So he just kind of like, and then he like left. Apparently our neighbors, they, she has a horse. Horse got spooked, ran, completely demolished the fence and fell. Don't worry, it's okay. But like, what? Are you kidding me? So the poor horse. Yesterday at work, we found out that it was National Bubble Tea Day. And I go to my boss and I'm like, hey, happy 
National uh, Bubble Tea Day. And he goes, are you are you serious? And I go, yeah. Uh, and then he said, okay, well, we, we have to go get bubble tea. And I said, well, I do not disagree with you. I mean, <laughs> of course we do. Um, so I went with him to go grab uh, some bubble tea for our team. And on my way there, I see this dog, like, like just running like Lightning McQueen. He just going right down the, the, down the sidewalk. And there's no owner. This is on like the side of like a very busy street. And I'm like freaking out. And he just keeps driving. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, stop. And it, 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 oh my gosh, I think he's fine. I don't know. Um, but anyway, sorry, back to my dad. Uh, so he moved into that house. Now he's fixing it up. Now he wants to sell it again. And in the meantime, I've been trying to find a job near Alex. Now, Alex is like my, he's uh, my been my boyfriend for about five years now. It's almost, uh, sorry, it has been five years, almost six years now. And we've been wanting to like move out together. And I've been trying to find a job near his house. So I found something finally after like forever. There were so many guys. There were so many uh, marketing companies that were like, like they would say that they're one thing. And then you go, to the interview and it's something completely different like for example i went to this place no one like the the description it okay girl tip okay learn from my mistakes if you're on a website like indeed trying to find a job and if you don't get enough information in the description it's sketchy don't trust it okay take it from your girl don't trust it don't trust those shady guys okay because <laughs> i went right and there were people sitting there waiting uh, to get interviewed, right? And we saw these like kids. And uh, when I mean kids, I mean obviously 16 and up. I'm 23, but I would consider myself to be like, you know, around that, whatever. So I see them and I am I just think that they're just some random kid. No, that kid is there to, to interview me. And at that point I drove like two hours to go for this interview, which was only five minutes, by the way. Yeah, it was literally five minutes. He asked me four questions. Uh, and then I was on my way and I had to drive back home. And then I got the call back the next time to come back. And I did. And then as soon as I get there, the guy's late. He has to go in his car to, to not breathe air for a bit. And then he comes back and uh, he brings me upstairs and they all start doing improv together on how to knock on doors and no one told me that it was a door-to-door -door sales you guys i was so confused and i was so mad <laughs> that i couldn't leave because i'm sitting here they brought me upstairs right there's four of them in this room and they're going to each other knock 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 on the door hi sir ma'am like do you want to involve and i'm sitting here watching this for an hour an hour and i <laughs> i was just so blown away because I did not believe that this was happening in front of me. I was so flabbergasted. And so they're like, oh, hey, we're going to uh, send you some coordinates to um, an area. And then we're going to uh, teach you how to how it works. Uh, but we're going to stop at Tim Hortons first uh, before we go out. And I was just like, OK, in my head, I was I was like, I'm out. I'm done. So I went in my car, text them. Hey, thanks. But no, thanks. And I left crying and it was really bad. And then I called for, got a call from another place. And the guy who interviewed me was also younger and he looked familiar and they were kind of going around where they were like, oh, we used to cold call, but now we don't. We do more in-person stuff because, um, you know, the customers really like it and we really enjoy it. And, uh, and I go, oh, okay. And he never told me exactly that it was a door to door thing. So I told him straight up, like after he was done talking and I said, so it's, uh, you guys are doing uh, door to door stuff. And he, he paused and he was like, um, uh, yeah, 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 it, yeah, it's, it's, it's door, door to door. We, we just find somewhere and then we kind of go and I go, ah, uh, yeah, okay. Um, thank you, uh, for your time. <laughs> Sorry for wasting yours. Uh, thank you for wasting mine and I'm going to go. Um, obviously I didn't say that, that in my head I said that. Long story short, I don't know where I was going with this, but long story short, girl, like don't, 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 mm -mm, don't go to a job if you have no idea what it is if it does not tell you exactly what it says don't go to it okay okay cool so i finally got a job up there and 
I was so nervous and so uh, I was so used to having these shady companies coming for me. So I did like the smallest amount of research at this place that I'm working at right now. And that was it. Obviously, don't do that. Do your do your research before you go to like a, a job interview. And I get there and uh, the guy, we had like a great talk. And then he was like, hey, so uh, what do you know about the company? And I go, oh, no. <laughs> So I tried to like just pull it out of my butt and I and I did not work and uh, he was like the whole reason why you're here is what we talk about uh, you know what you could do to better the company and uh, you know it was just really awkward and I had to explain to him everything that I've been going through where I was just like not sure what this was because everything that I looked on did not work like their website isn't working they brought to his attention the other day which I tried to bring to his attention and he just kind of like fluffed it off and then he was like why didn't you tell me that the the website was bad and I said bro I tried to tell you that from day one and then he said oh I thought you meant that it was kind of um you know out of date kind of thing and I was like no dude <laughs> It's not even working. So, so I was trying to tell him that, and uh, eventually, I, I'm, I'm guessing my charm helped. I don't know. I that's what he said. It was he was like, you know what? We, it sounded like we had a really great conversation, and he called me at like 9, 10 p.m. Uh, and he was like, hey, you got the job. Uh, when's the fastest you can start? And I was like, what? Uh, and when we finished the in-person interview, he sent me a text. Um, cause I told him I would do more, uh, research when I got home and then he sent me another text kind of like, okay, now that you know what this company is about, what can you do to better it? And, uh, oh my gosh, you guys, it was, I was like, oh no, I was like, here we go. So I, I, I cooked up a, a good response and, uh, hopefully it was, it was good. Well, it was, it was good cause I got the job, but it was, it was a whole process. I was so nervous, uh, cause I was like, okay, I think we're good. And then he was like, hey, by the way, what else can you do? I was like, oh no, but we're fine. It was good. Uh, I'm I'm managing like seven different accounts right now. Uh, I might have to manage eight. I'm also like an admin and I play a man who's like 60, 70 years old. Um, yeah, I have an alter ego. I'm basically portraying myself as a rich company owner man of a very known company in Canada. And uh, people think that I'm him. So it's really awkward when like someone does a really good job and you're just like, oh, fantastic job and what an accomplishment, that's amazing. And they're like, oh, thanks, da da da. And I'm like, they think that they just got a compliment from the founder of this company when in reality it is a 23 year old YouTuber girl <laughs> that literally works in a hallway. I'm not even a YouTuber, I want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> and it's just oh it feels so bad you guys I feel so sad for some people because they they be doing amazing stuff and this man I'm taking care of his Instagram like I don't think he sees any of this because <laughs> obviously he's got better things to do and I'm literally just just going around and, and complimenting people and tagging people and it's so bad because when I have no idea what anything is I have to pretend like I have the context to that photo so if I get sent a photo of, of the guy that I'm portraying and he's with these two other guys in in some other country I have to be like wow it was amazing working with you guys you guys are fantastic doing this again we're we're we're, we're changing lives and all this stuff. and i'm i have no idea i have no idea you guys it is so <laughs> i am improving and it is it is writing on me just pulling something out of my booty just trying to do something for this man and uh i mean it's working so far and also i'm sorry i'm not posting as much as i want to and uh, I have been working like 11 to 7, uh, sometimes 12 to 8, and I cannot get anything done. And it's very frustrating because I will go to bed around 9 o'clock because uh, I've been trying to get my body to wake up early because uh, Alex wakes up at like 4 or 5 just to do some work, but he's done at 3 because he starts at like 7. Um, and I'm not a morning person whatsoever, but I find it so much better to finish at like 3 or 4 
um, and have the rest of the day to, you know, like go out for a walk. Like today was beautiful. And uh, as soon as I get home and I have to eat dinner with Alex and then we, you know, we edit like it's we don't have time to go for a walk because I can't get anything done and then we have to work out. And uh, and I found at my old job when I used to work at the mall, like you guys know, oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen, sorry, if you guys haven't seen any of my older videos, you guys, the stories, the drama, <laughs> the everything that that mall gave me so much stuff to talk about <laughs> so you definitely have to go back to watch some of my old speed builds um but you guys like working that nine to five didn't like waking up early because i lived like an hour away so i had to wake up extra early but i liked that i had the rest of the day i wish i could ask my boss to be like hey can i do like nine to five sometimes i have to go do something so i i ask if i can work a 10 to 6 and that's uh i'm so excited for the days where i have to ask that <laughs> at least like if I'm doing something I can go see my dad for an extra hour or whatever you know so it's 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 nice but I can't I don't like the the seven o'clock so I've been trying to wake up early to do some work beforehand uh, but I'm not getting as much work as I can done um, my room my old house that I used to live in you guys know that I was kind of talking to you guys about how I used to have a room with my dad not not room with my dad but my room is beside my dad's and it was connected by a vent so literally, girl, if like a, if a piece of dust fell on the floor, my dad would hear it, which is crazy because he like doesn't have that good of hearing, but he has like sonar owl hearing when he's sleeping. I don't know what he, what he does. He wasn't able to like really do anything or voice over something if I worked late. But now I have a room that's right across from Alex's sister and it's very awkward for me to talk. <laughs> I don't like it because I feel like you can hear everything. I don't know if she's here right now, but she might be able to hear me. I don't know. And it's just like a very awkward feeling and I don't like it. So I can't even get like things done when I get home around like eight or sorry, seven or eight. Um, and I, I, I'm literally Literally doing this voiceover now because I think she's working out right now. I don't know. So it's just been, it's been a lot. And I, <laughs> this job is really good. There's things going on behind the scenes. Um, I have no idea what's going to be happening in like the next three months or so. Um, there's a lot going on with Alex's job. A lot of uncertainties still going. So I'm hoping that everything's fine. Um, but you know, I, I really, 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 really really want to push this year you guys like it's 2024 let's do this so <laughs> if you guys are new here um please maybe consider like commenting and subscribing for your for your girl to to start doing youtube um you know it, the way the analytics are showing it's 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 looking good for your girls so hopefully everything just stays afloat and uh, let me know what kind of videos that you guys want to see me do Hopefully I'll be starting a Let's Play soon and I did post a poll the other day asking if you guys wanted me to do like a not so very challenge or if you wanted just a regular Let's Play. Um, so please let me know and also I want to do more uh, build uh, challenges and casts because I obviously um, cast is definitely doing pretty good on the channel so I'm glad that you guys really like that and let me know if you guys really like these sp uh, speed builds. Uh, it's again it's mostly just like a I'm just talking and you guys can can kind of do whatever you want or just watch the build um i had a lot of fun with this build it's basically like this i just thought of this family won the lottery and they just went all out for for everyone <laughs> i had such a hard time making uh the shell of the house i did not like it at all I was having such a problem with the color uh, as well, so <laughs> I think it's also with my reshades. I have to figure out what I want to do with them because uh, I'm not really liking the way that they're looking recently and I've been messing around with it too much, so I need to... <laughs> You need to stop that. And hopefully today when you're seeing this tonight, or if I've already done it, I will let you know. Um, but I will be doing a stream that's going uh, on the channel here to look at all the shell challenges that you guys uh, submitted for my spring Simspo stuff. So definitely take a look at that and keep an eye for it if I haven't already posted for it. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Maybe please consider like commenting and subscribing. And I will see you all later. Okay, bye guys.